Okay, Lost in Talks podcast episode 99. Yo! What's up? First one of 2022. We in the Rona <laughs> era. We in the Rona the era. Omarion era. The Omari era. Actually, we don't have the Omari on anymore. The Omani on. The, 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 the Omani from Krav. Hawaii or something. The Emu. <laughs> the Emu. It's like Hawaiian or... The IHU, yo. Or like yeah. from Peru. Yeah. IHU. Um, yeah, man. Man's got... Corona, bro. Yeah, I think you can hear it in his voice a little bit, Ian's, like a little yeah. bit. Yeah, Ian's one of the infected. My voice is still a little, a little weird, a little bit. Ian's it's got like fucked deep up. in my like, you know. But it's like it's gone. I'm good. I, I, I promise. We'll find out soon. Yeah. Mm. I mean, this is a test run. Yeah, you guys might get it. I'm just kidding. Don't be worried. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. But it's all good. No, I mean, I literally, I started feeling sick almost two weeks ago. Again, like I was saying, so, I, I need a couple of days off of work. Like, yeah, so be like, uh, I'm 99% sure I got Omicron given the cold. Oh, I'm like, pretty sure everybody, everybody's. Uh, I don't even did. know if the, the alpha one is even around anymore. Yeah, I think like, because just people who got tested are, are catching it like bear. So I'm pretty sure like more than half of people have got it in some way. It's, you know? it's, like, it's definitely Omicron yeah. that I got. It's, it's cold like symptoms. It was just a, it was just like a cold, like a like a kind of a semi semi bad cold. Like I've had worse colds too. It lasted like four days. I started feeling. I could even tell you all like the stages. So like I started, and I'm sure it varies to everyone. Like I was talking to Zach, and yeah, and like he his was completely different. Like Zach got the Rona. My mom got the Rona. Yeah, bear people got the wrong. Everyone except for me. It's funny, Kevin. like yeah, you just how you and know. I might have got it, like, but I just I've been isolating. Sure. Potentially, yeah. This is how you yeah, know you it's really mean. spreading because back when the alpha came out, like the original one in, in 2020, like I didn't know anybody who had COVID. Yeah, like. I really didn't. I just heard stories f- through the grapevine of like other people. I heard like I had like we had like little scares like oh somebody else has it. Yeah, yeah. That doesn't look weird. Like in, <laughs> yeah. in, like bang bang in the span of two months, I literally knew like ten plus people right out the back in my like actual inner circle who who have it, which is crazy. So like my dad got it, yeah. and I don't even think he got it from me. Yeah, I don't know where he got it from because he was feeling sick before me. So, but then, but then my mom didn't get it or mm. didn't get sick. She probably had it. Yeah. She didn't get sick at all. She didn't test. They, neither of them tested, but, uh. um, they got boosted too, mm. like, a, uh, a month ago, a little more than a month ago. So that, that might've played a factor yeah. in how severe it was. Like, I think if you were double vax like me, you got sick. If you were boosted, you probably didn't feel anything yeah. or very little. So, and if you were unvaxxed, who knows? Like, yeah. you might have been screwed. I don't know. But it again, yeah, it depends on people's bodies. But that's kind of been like the consensus too. is that yeah, if you're not vaxxed, then it's like it you have the most potential to get hit the hardest. Mm-hmm. You get most people who have double who had the double vax seem to have not really gotten anything more than like a mild cold or yeah, yeah. The worst part, so it was like I started feeling something in my in my throat. I'm like, oh god, I'm getting sick. Pause. You know that feeling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know that feeling when no, you know you're getting sick. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not right. And then the second day was just body aches and chills and fatigue. I just felt like ass all day for like 24 hours. No no sore throat, nothing. No cough. I didn't even really have a cough, actually. That wasn't even a symptom. So just body chills, aches for a whole day. I'm like, fuck. Okay, then that went away. Day two was just like sore throat and runny nose, congestion, just like cold, like a regular cold. Um, And then day three was like the same thing, but then not as bad. But my throat got worse, which was weird. I don't know if it was just because it got really irritated from just coughing a lot and and, and fucking I don't I don't know being dry. But because my where I live is pretty the air is dry, it doesn't help. But the throat the throat was terrible, man. It was like I've never had <laughs> I never had <laughs> that sounded terrible. I, the throat was terrible, bro. <laughs> It was like, if you guys, I've never had strep th- throat, but people have described, described strep throat to me, and it was like that, bro. It was terrible, bro. There was like shit in the middle. <laughs> it feels yeah. like, yeah, it's like, you know, it's like in your throat, like, yeah. bro. Yeah, I get you. There's I like got, spikes. I got like phlegm. Yeah. yeah, it was like yeah. spikes in your throat, bro. Mm. Like nail, like, like, like. Swallowing glass. Yes, yeah. yes. 
swallowing glass, bro. Mm. <laughs> that throat. <laughs> the throat was whack. <laughs> <laughs> the throat so, was trash and then and then yeah I, I eventually got better and now i'm good but my my voice is still a little weird sounding i feel but yeah it is mm-hmm. it's all good it's cold it got it's super fucking cold right now and yeah where it mm-hmm. was mm-hmm. it was yeah. yeah so that that like my like i was a little you know because the, with the weather change and stuff you always get a little like you know lips get dry and shit and, mm-hmm. yeah it, that probably adds to it too right but yeah so yeah Ian's infected yeah mm-hmm. congrats man mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've been still finessing the COVID hopefully I'm not jinxing myself right now yeah but I've been ducking this shit my mom got it literally or she found out she got it like the day uh, after I moved she hit me up like the next day. That's crazy. She's like, "Yo, I got COVID," and I'm like, "Don't kill me." I literally said, "Don't kill me." <laughs> yeah, like, actually, like, like, oh, <laughs> like all the know. M's. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, "Yo, don't kill me." So yeah, I should have checked on her today. I was supposed to call her, but hey, I'll call you later. Hopefully, you're still alive. No. Yeah. But yeah, man. Lost in talks. Ninety nine. We're back. Monitor's off. I don't know if that's a problem. It died. Oh, it died? The monitor died, but we're still recording. Okay, cool. Whatever. And it doesn't really matter. We'll wait until we'll, it blinks. When the light... Yeah. yeah. We don't really need it. Um, How was how was the, the holidays? We didn't get to do a pod before the holidays. Yeah. So. No holiday pod, no New Year's pod. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's... That's when I was sick, so... You just, Actually, would have been was your good. birthday, bro? Yeah. The No, you couldn't do the New Year's pod. Yeah, I could That's the day I moved. Right, right, right. But honestly, it probably was what a good call. Cause yeah, exactly. I think that was around the time I was I was sick. Yeah, like right. before I was like before symptoms, which yeah, is like I was out. probably infectious as fuck. Yeah. If I if out. I got it, if I didn't get it that day. Yeah. Or plot twist, I came I come here instead and I didn't and then I don't get mm. it wherever I got it that day. You'll never know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where I got it from. That's the thing. That's the funny thing about it, <laughs> right? That throat. Usually, you think you'd be able to <laughs> figure it out, but I, I have like speculation, but I'm not too sure. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think I'd rather not know. I don't want to be blaming somebody or something. You know? yeah, I, I feel fault. like, like <laughs> I feel like the second I find out I have COVID, I I would have known where I got it. Yeah. I feel like I would know. Yeah. Like, have we checked to see if you know everybody has had a specific moment or smelt the same thing? You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, smelt the same thing. Like, what if you were just walking, you are just you just came off the fucking subway, and you just smelt fucking cherries, whatever cherries smell like? Yeah. Well, the next day you found out you had COVID. What if everybody's smelling these cherries right before mm. they get COVID? But, but no one's talking about it? Because they don't think it's a big deal. Mm. See what I mean? Maybe. Those are the things we need to be finding out. Yeah. I feel like that's the moment I'm going to have and be like, that was COVID. Mm -hmm. I just... Like the... uh, I just got it. Like when you smell uh, carbon... What what is it? What what gas is it when you just smell something like carbon monoxide? Yeah. um, Not carbon monoxide. Yeah, that's the one you can smell, right? Or I feel no, no I feel like odorless. that's the one that you that yeah. kills you in your sleep. Yeah, that's odorless. That, that one you can't. Yeah. There's odorless, the one that yeah. you can smell. Like oh, when no, there's like there's a gas leak or whatever. Yeah, when there's just a basic yeah. gas leak at your house or yeah. something that you could smell that yeah. shit. Yeah, well, that's I mean, what I feel like. We all smell like. right because they put toast. they put the smell in the gasoline so you can smell. <laughs> yeah. It. yeah, exactly. That shit. Yeah, yeah, that'd be wild, man. Yeah, burnt toast. Mm-hmm. It could be anything. Maybe. That's when you have a stroke, right? You start smelling burnt toast or something. That's that's the stroke. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, I don't know why, and uh, I don't know if they know why. That's scary. I never looked into it. Yeah. But uh, what was I gonna say? I, I I was glad that I didn't like lose a um, uh, sense of like smell and taste. Yeah. Uh, I lost my sense of smell because of my congestion, but like the taste thing. That never happened to me. And mm-hmm. I think with this new variant, you don't get that. Mm-hmm. But the older COVID variants, people were, like, losing their taste. And, like, I, I know someone that had COVID, like, a year ago or almost a year ago, like, maybe eight, nine months ago. 
and they still can't taste things. Properly. I was gonna yeah, say, yeah, I was gonna yeah. say, yeah, like, somebody what? I know is like that too. I remember hearing about that. Yeah, that's like the one thing that kind of mm-hmm. lingers. Yeah, this is like you might not taste shit for a for a mm-hmm. minute. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's crazy. That sucks balls. Yeah, but yeah, man. What, what, what do man do for the holidays, yo? Um, well, I went up north. You know, caught COVID and then came back. <laughs> <laughs> and pulled back up. Nah, I was just chill, chill, you know, chill Christmas things, you know, just hanging out, eating food, yeah. all that stuff. I didn't do anything really crazy, so went out to dinner a couple of times. Yeah, that was it, man. How about you, Kevin? Kind of same as last year. Yeah, really, yeah, really chill. Yeah, yeah, right? Well, my brother was supposed to come, but he got positive before he... He got tested oh, positive before he came, mm-hmm. but he didn't feel anything. But then a bunch of his mm-hmm. friends too also had it, so they mm-hmm. just like you know had their own like whatever COVID party, basically like COVID holidays. Um, so we oh they all got together sick and they basically really yeah. eh that's jokes that's but funny. they weren't sick though mm. they but were they, they just, all were positive yeah, yeah. so like fuck it yeah that's funny. we we were uh, we plan we were gonna cross the border so we did we went to uh, like Niagara Falls Buffalo area um, that was like the week before Christmas. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's where I got this jersey. Um, that was cool. Um, it was nice because that was like I think right before shit locked down too. So yeah, 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 yeah. That's um, the update now. Everything's locked down again. And then my mom, <laughs> when we were coming back in, my mom got given a random. I guess they give out random tests to just people, so they only gave it to her. Yeah. And then she had to do like the home, like the home tests and shit. And then she she didn't ca- she didn't have it, so I was like, okay. That basically, if she didn't have it, it felt no, like you're good. Yeah, it. you're straight. Yeah. And then yeah, Christmas and New Year's, nobody just yeah just chilled with, uh, just chilled with my parents basically, and drank. Lit. Yeah. Yeah, mine was pretty chill too. What happened? I uh, went to my girl's place. Just chilled there with her fam and her people and their families and shit. Yeah. Then I went back home that night and nobody was home. I was like, all right. (laughs) It was, uh, I think it was, yeah, Christmas Eve. Like, no one was home. I was like, okay, sick. Like, I could just chill. My mom, she was coming back from Jamaica. Mm. That's not how she caught her COVID. But uh, she was coming back from Jamaica, so she wasn't going to be home until like 3 a.m. So I was just chilling. Watched the videos. And then Christmas Day, woke up, said what's up to everybody. Told everybody got a place. Mm-hmm. And then literally the next day I started moving out. <laughs> literally. That yeah, was it was like perfect uh, time to move out. You know? Yeah, yeah. It just kind of... Kind yeah, of nothing out. else was really going on, so like, yeah. was it? Was your plan to move uh, top of the year? Like, or you no, just, I just ended up finding a place. That was a, a so yeah, so yeah, yeah. Let's say I'll just tell the story. Guy got a place. Um, we found out on like the what was it the twenty second. The reason why I know that was because I had my driving test that day, which I passed. So it was a good day. And we found out we got the part uh, the condo the same day, same time. Um, Wait, you G two? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yo, yo, did you hear? Uh, I don't know, but by the time They're you're changing probably... the rules and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You hear how the meds don't have to take the, the test? Yeah, yeah. Or uh, this like parts of it. Or parts something. of it. Yeah, oh. certain parts of it. It's oh. not. I think it's like the G test. They take out like the um, the shit that the doesn't matter. Turn and like yeah. Yeah. Oh. Like, only a highway test now for the G. Oh, I yeah. thought they just canceled no, the whole no, test. No, 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 no. Everyone on Twitter was like, make them smaller so they could fit uh, in more. Tests everyone on Twitter was like, yo, Brampton's fucked. Don't kill me. Brampton's never not gonna be. Fucked. Yo, they're more fucked. <laughs> like, all these mans are gonna get their tests. Nah. Like they're just gonna get their G's yeah. and they're gonna be fucking driving like crazy. Well, yeah, I, I, yeah. Technically, I guess it might be easier, but not really. Though. Like, if you got the G two, then you would know how to do that shit. That's their. That's their reason. Do you even think our roads are that bad? I don't think they're that bad. No. People will think they're bad. I'm like, you guys obviously. They they are pretty bad, but they're not horrible. Like it's the, a big pe- the drivers, exactly. the drivers. I mean, yeah, any big city's gonna have so like do, yeah. a you, bunch you, of fucktards driving. And then they'll fix shit, and it's gonna be the same way it was in a year. So it doesn't even. I matter. think. Uh, not that I've been been to other countries, but anyone who says it's like we have bad drivers, they haven't been to other countries. Yeah. Because Europe, Europe is crazy. Apparently, the, the roads are just fucking windy and they're weird. Just yeah. But just the way people yeah. drive, they're crazy too. Bro. Yeah. We just don't care. Like, there's no speed limits. They're just, like, fucking... 
<laughs> Everywhere's the Autobahn, bro. Yeah. Like people are driving like a 160 on the highway. Like Jeez. that's normal. That's what people do, yo. yo 160, yo. <laughs> I'll never forget. I'll never forget one weird thing in uh, in Maryland. And freaking yo, man, things flying, bro. bro. I know we told this story already, but that was crazy, bro. How fast I'm sitting is in going? the front high as shit. And I'm just like. <laughs> Yo, I felt like we, I was literally in a spaceship, bro. Like I was in a rocket. It was crazy. And I'm looking at the thing, this and honestly, the, he's oh. going about the speed limit we go here. That was like the last day, right? Like when we're going home? Yeah, when we're going home. But the whole, the, every time he hopped in the car, it was fucking crazy. <laughs> I was fried. But that like, one, but that last one, I was like, <laughs> off the moon rock, I'm like, yo. <laughs> it was wild. But yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> what were we talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I found out, I got my license, and then I got, we got, uh, called about the whole thing the same day. Um, what was I gonna say about that? Funny story about how we got it was, uh, we put in an offer. They were like, yo, can you guys move in on the first? Because you guys are the first people to check it out, so we'll, you know, just because we'll honor, we'll honor that you are, you know, the first people that saw the spot. Mm -hmm. But can you guys uh, move in on the first? And we're like, yeah, sure. Like, That's like it. in like a couple days. Yeah, and that was like literally in like two, three days. And we're like, yeah, sure. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> so he's like, okay, cool. So we're waiting to hear back about the offer. And then that's when they call us later that night. And he calls my girlfriend and he's like, uh, the real estate agent we had, he calls my girl and he's like, yo, uh, you guys got the place. But crazy thing. The girl knows you. And it turns out it's this girl from high school that me and my girl were just nice to. Wait, wait the girl who used to live there? <laughs> yeah, the girl, the the landlord. Oh. Oh, the owner of the rental property. Yeah. Oh, oh, so oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So your your uh your spot is one like owned by a like an individual? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because sometimes sometimes those places are owned by a by, by a company. Yeah, a whole company. No, like, no, ours is owned by an individual. Real estate, whatever, yeah. yeah, whatever it is. Property called. management yeah. company yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah. no, ours, ours is just like an individual who owns it. Yeah, it's an individual. Okay, okay. That could and be, it just that turned could be good or bad. It know. turned out to be a girl <laughs> that we went to high school with that oh, just really? knew us, yeah. And then she picked us over the other people even though they were paying more. <laughs> Just wow. because she like she like knew my girlfriend like even better than me, and then she's like, yeah, I trust her. I fuck with her. She's cool. She was nice. Da 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 da. Well, that's that makes sense. Yeah, so it worked out. Better um, than have tenants that you know. Exactly. Yeah, you right? know. Well, not always. Not but always, but at I least like, like there's a better. You're not close enough where you would like finesse her, but like, yeah, like, yeah. There's enough, rapport. There's rapport. Yeah, I know what you mean. You know, there's like, like okay, cool. We have a both. We have an understanding. You can you see that we're not evil people. Yeah. Right off the bat. Which is almost better than like being too close. Because then if you're, exactly. you're like, oh, that's my, that's my bread. Oh, right I don't yeah. have to pay yeah. rent for yeah, a exactly. month. Like, he can let be asking kill. for mandem discounts and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Basically, Horrible. Basically, yeah. basically, yeah. That's what that's what it would be. So I'd rather have someone <clears throat> in between that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Just like you know their character, basically. Mm. So yeah. So that's why we got the spot. And then yeah, I told my mom on Christmas Day because that's when she got back. And, uh, yeah, she was cool about it. And then, yeah, here we are. I moved in mostly. I don't have a bed yet. I got, I got, we bought one just waiting for it to get delivered. Yeah. I can't find a couch anywhere. Mm. It's a, it's a struggle. Not even find. like a futon? <clears throat> Barely, bro. Might as well get the couch though. But yeah, you. What well, am I going to spend money on, you know? The futon. And I have to go book an elevator and all this shit. Right. You know, but um, yeah, we're just waiting to get a couch, basically. And then once I get the couch, then I'll just tell Matt to pull up. Right. But you know, nice little area. I'm close to Young Street. I can get downtown quick. Oh, you're in a great spot. Like yeah, I like man. how close you are to the highway. Yeah, I'm close to the highway. I'm a North York man now. No longer a Scarborough man. You're only 10 minutes from... Yeah, K but it's... KP's. Yeah, yeah. Actually. Um, yeah. But yeah. You're like, you're pretty centralized. Yeah, man. In the yeah. city, I feel. I'm in a good spot. I like it. Yeah. If you, yeah, if you want to be mobile in the city, I don't think you can pick a better spot because people downtown they stay downtown, and then obviously if you're in the suburbs, you're you can't exactly move around. Yeah. yeah. But when you're there, you can be every, and anywhere. It's anywhere. Like Scarborough's not a far away place. Exactly. You know, West End's not far. Exactly. West End's like. 
20, like 15. Yeah. Yeah. Scarborough's like 15. Downtown is Literally, like 20. Yeah. And then you can go up too. Yeah, exactly. Literally, me and my girl, we went to um, Candy Commons the other day because we we're like looking for couches and shit. That's only like 10 minutes, dude. And it was literally not even, it was like seven. We like got there yeah, in like yeah. seven minutes. And you're in Scarborough. And I was like, oh, here we are. That was fast as fuck. That's closer than here. Exactly. Yeah. It's crazy. I was like, okay, this is actually pretty hot and then you know just yeah just a good area overall obviously you can't tell man because there's ops mm-hmm. but yeah, you there's, know there's some areas in Toronto that you're like, <laughs> <laughs> out there you know <laughs> yeah exactly yeah, yeah. exactly not that I hate Scarborough but I always felt like Scarborough felt so far bro it is. oh no it is that's why bro it's like fuck even Etobicoke is the other end but Etobicoke still feels way closer yeah man like I'm downtown in like 15. Exactly. On the Gardner. I remember but when like Toro- uh, Scarborough South feels like a good 25. Exactly. <laughs> no, that's so, what it is. It's yeah. well, especially this this part. Of this so, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. When, part, when you're living yeah. out here, it's just like all right, yeah. you're you're not. I'll be downtown later. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a bit, yo. Or you're leaving your house at seven to get there for like eight. I mean, not eight, nine. but like nine, yeah. nine thirty. Jesus Christ. 30, yo, chill. You know, no, yo, this shit happens. Yo, when you catch a subway delay or uh, yeah. this train is out of service or this, uh, there's a fucking person on the tracks. Or yeah, something. or a man's oh, fighting with the bus driver yeah. on the 116. <laughs> it's a wrap, yo. It's a fucking wrap. You're just like, all right, forget it, yo. I shouldn't even go out. Yeah. Is your uh, is your morning commute better now? Uh, a lot. My morning commute is a lot faster. It's like 40 minutes. Mm. But getting back is basically this, basically the same. Like maybe it's between like an hour mm-hmm. twenty, hour forty. Mm-hmm. Right. Before it was like an hour forty to two hours. Mm-hmm. But You're like more transferring and moving around. Um, I would say like it's about the same. One straight. It's about the same because to, without giving it away. Where I <laughs> yeah, where yeah. I work, where I work is the bus that I need to take. It goes straight to a station that's close to me, and then I just gotta, I take. That's I go to Lawrence Station, mm, mm, mm. right, and then I go up a couple stops, and then I just transfer over one more, and I'm cool. That was the biggest giveaway if you're really <laughs> thinking about it. But whatever. But whatever. Yeah, it's like yeah, whatever. It's you... close enough. It's still that works for me. General area. Yeah, exactly. It's still good though. Okay. Yeah, I was man. wondering because you're kind of a little, you're a little closer. Yeah, man. But it's like a different way now. You're like going more like. More uptown, yeah, like downtown, uh, yeah. Rather than going all the way, like one straight line exactly. all the way to the end, and then yeah, and then a couple buses. Or exactly. One bus. Now I could just it's it's still trains and shit, but it's shorter trips, and then just one fat bus ride. That 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 fucking Kennedy to Kipling like ride is like so brain dead, man. Yeah, I've done Bruh. it multiple times. It is. <laughs> It yeah, doesn't man. end. It yeah. doesn't end. Yeah. It's like a solid hour too, yeah. bro. You, I, I, I used to fall asleep on that shit and wake up thinking, okay, I gotta be like yeah. at least at Broadview. Yeah. No, Ossington. <laughs> I'm like, yo, that's it. Yeah. Or like, you just hear Keel, and I'm like, what? Yeah, the west. We've been the like west four or five is, stops. I don't, know, I don't know if it's like, <laughs> like think, maybe you're just used to where we used to Warden and Kennedy now. Yeah. But like, I swear the West End is so much worse. Like, it is you know, slower. So you, yeah, getting to fucking Young, bro. Or like, bro, like, it's Kipling crazy. The young is slower than Scar than yeah. Kennedy. The and I think maybe yeah. it's just because we're maybe. used to like the Young to Kennedy side more. It's but, shorter. No, it's shorter. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Because you think about it, you still got to go to St. George. Yeah. You know, and then Bay. Yeah. And then you're at Young and Bloor. Yeah. I always feel like the uh, I always feel like if you were taking if you're going the whole line so Kipling to if you're going from Kipling to Kennedy, that's in my opinion that's slower than Kennedy to Kipling the other way. I because I agree because I find the going east the last few stops in Scarborough, bro, like the the train's moving like a one kilometer an hour, yeah, bro, facts, like. Yeah. And then yeah. you're like stuck under Warden. You're like, what's going on? Like yeah. in the middle of the tunnel, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that that, that, <laughs> that tiny like, tunnel. And you're, yo, from fucking <laughs> VP to fucking. Uh, and if you if you're a Scarborough man, you you know what I'm talking about. From K, like VP to Scarborough, bro, it's like 15 minutes. It's longer than a VP to Young. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah you know, yeah, yeah, Kennedy to VP. <laughs> yeah. Is yeah. A, yeah, yeah, that's a trip in itself. Yeah. So if you're going from Young to Kennedy, Young to VP is like eight nine minutes. Yeah. VP to Kennedy is 15 minutes. <laughs> 15, 20, full, 30. You know when you're getting that full stop, too. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like, yeah, because you just slow down and you're just yeah. like, 
Oh! And you feel the other train yeah. vibrate past you, and you're yeah. like, all right, we're getting ready to go. No. Yeah. Nope. Because <laughs> I, I, nope. I was curious, and I kind of timed how long, how fast the subway is on average from, like, stop to stop, right? If the There's tra- a map, I think. If the train goes from one stop to the other, and it stops, opens the doors, and pretty much closes the doors. It's like a second. Two, it's, I mean, yeah, not a second, yeah. but, like, yeah. Two on seconds seconds average, one, one stop to the next is about a minute to two, two minute and a half to two minutes. Yeah. yeah. So just do the math. From Kennedy to Kipling, it's, like, literally almost yeah. an hour. I remember it's like 50 minutes to grant, an hour. The grant thing yeah, yeah, that we, yeah. we practiced from, like, well, Pape to Young or whatever. Yeah. And it was, like, a five-minute presentation so it was like five minutes to get from pape to young mm-hmm. yeah and every stop yeah. in scarborough is five minutes in itself yeah i remember seeing a map yeah. they showed you how long uh, it would take to walk from each subway station to each subway station mm-hmm. so like you know queen to king is two minutes or whatever from yeah, yeah. warden to kennedy was like 45 minutes or something yeah it's deep yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah if you really think about it yeah, you're going deep you're going deep so i just feel like for some reason west east is way slower that's crazy. I've done that walk before. Just one of those late nights. Yeah. Just coming back. I don't. I was maybe coming back from like Kevin's or something like that. VP to Kennedy. From not VP. Kennedy uh, from to Kennedy to Warden, or to my house when I was living by there. Kennedy to your house. Yeah. Kennedy Station to my house. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. That's deep. Basically, your house to your. Yeah. Yeah. yeah basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I and I would walk to Ian's house yeah, too. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably like a twenty-five minute walk. It was like a no. It's like a 30, 40. Oh shit. Yeah. True. Jesus. true true things in scarborough are like just so much more spread out you know like but nothing like there's so much more shit going on between queen and king than fucking <laughs> yeah exactly. whatever mccowan and you know that's what it was man's used to envy people that live downtown you know? yeah you're just like yo it takes me forever to get out there yo i like the west end though personally disgusting i'd live i'd live downtown too still if the opportunity arises and i find a place that i like and stuff yeah. I know I'm going to pay, like, way more rent. <clears throat> and, like, how much rent I pay now is actually blessed. Yeah. Like, I probably pay some of the lowest rates I feel like you could probably pay in the city without living in a dump. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Like, without living in a complete, like, yeah, you're probably like metro housing. Enough. Yeah. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like, no, it'd, be, I'm, yeah. it'd be like, uh, it'd be like that. So, I feel like I'm cool where I am, to be honest. No, that's cool, yeah. Considering, like, the average, apparently the average, take this in, so this is facts, the average uh, rent uh, in Toronto this year is going to be 2500 a month. That's, crazy. That's what the average is, is running right now in Toronto. It, 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 it's gone up this year. It, last year, it was like 2200 Now it's twenty going to be 2500 yeah. right? That's yeah, literally after, like, right after we got the place, other apartments in the same building, just the prices are just crazy. So without giving away like what I pay, let's let's even ignore the fact that I split it with someone. Mm-hmm. What I pay is like hundreds of dollars below average mm-hmm. for a two bedroom. I know it's a basement, but still basements are not cheap too. Like, yeah, basements run you two 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 thousand in, in the city mm-hmm. easily. That's an average of everything, right? And I basic yeah. apartment. It's yeah, just it's average everything of everything. Yeah. Average. Everything you yeah. rent. It's two yeah. racks at least. Yeah. yeah, like two racks is like standard. And I yeah. pay less than two racks. Yeah. Before splitting it. Then I split it, which is even cheaper. So like Yeah, same. I pay less than two racks. Yes. Yeah. And I split it, so it's like all right. So that's good. Yeah. Like that's pretty good. Um you know, like uh, most two bedrooms are like over two two thousand a month for sure. And then that also means that there's a lot of people some who are paying one like way more, like, like exactly. three, four, yeah, which, yeah. Is, like, which is fucked. Yeah. There is three and four. Like if you live in like those like condos near the CN Tower, those and, condos like, and, that like, are, like Fort houses. York, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, like where your brother used to live. Like well, he, he some was, of them are probably like he was, up uh, there. Rent, I don't know if he upped the rent price, but when he moved out in 2019, he was it was like two thousand in rent. So yeah, oh yeah. really? It was, yeah. Just, it was just like two thousand. This place yeah. wasn't big though. It was, no, just it was a one bedroom. Yeah, it's just a one, one bedroom. bedroom yeah, but like, but even still, that location. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then yeah. he's basically on the water. Yeah, yeah. He's right, and he's like in there. He's downtown, yeah. bro. Yeah, it's for, walk to the ball game. Walk. Yeah, yeah like, it's Fort York. It's right there. You can see, yeah, you can see <laughs> fucking yeah, uh, Sky Dome. Yeah, Sky Dome and shit. Yeah, yeah. Walk to the baseball game, like whatever. Yeah, it's 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 nuts. Like I can't even think about what that life used to be like. Man's used to do that. Like go to his place, we would have a, a bag of cold shots, yeah. crush them on the way to the <laughs> game. It was like a five minute walk. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
But yeah, this is that location. But for two racks at that time, it's still good. Yeah. For one bedroom, two racks is blessed. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. It's definitely not that anymore. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely not. That spot's probably like 2,500 at this yeah. point. Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't be surprised if it was, right? So, and then, like, I'm like solidified into that price now, you know? So, like, it's hard for the landlord to really increase. They can't increase the rent that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you know how it works, but... Like, yeah, there's uh, a certain amount of time. They can only... Like, this year, I think it's only, like, 1.2%. Mm. They can only increase it by, like, 1.2%. <clears throat> that's it. That's not that much. Yeah. Like, that's, like, 30 bucks. Like, yeah. You know, the only time they can increase the rent is if they, like, add... um If they spend money on uh, renovations and shit. But they can't renovate it with you there. But, like, for, like, condos, it's different, like... It's it's bullshit, but like say like hypothetically say say your condo, the people who own your condo wanted to like put new elevators in hypothetically. Mm-hmm. So they're like, okay, we need to update the elevators. Mm-hmm. They put new elevators in, then because they've made changes and renovations to the building, they could put in an application to increase everyone's rent, because they've p- put money capital yeah, into they've invested the into building. The yeah. So then they can go to the. The whatever, the fucking renter's ministry or whatever the fuck it's called. And they could be like, okay, we want to raise everyone's rent by like a hundred bucks. Yeah, because technically the building to, to, is to, worth To more then money. help pay for that those those new elevators. Yeah, and forever. So like that's like a <laughs> yeah. like a hack. Yeah, and that's like a hack. Because like legally they can't increase the rent more than like one or two. Per, what, every year it changes. Last year it was zero. They couldn't increase it all because of COVID. Mm-hmm. But they, people are pissed about this. But they're now allowing landlords to increase rent again. Even though we're not done with this COVID shit, but what do you expect? But we're gonna do this forever, it seems. So. Yeah, I mean, at least another two it years. Is what it is. Shit. Two years, bro. We have to accept this. I don't know. This I don't know. Like, forever. there's just new variants <clears throat> every day. You know what I mean? If they, if the variants get weaker, like, like dog, I had Omicron. If that, if that's what COVID is to someone who's healthy, like that's that's nothing to be really worried worried about, man. That's a cold, bro. Like, it's literally a cold. Yeah, but it's going to be the, you know, people bitching every fucking six months, four months, six months, so you got to get a new booster and you yeah, yeah, get yeah. this pill now. And you gotta, it, that's what it's going to be. It's more about the mm. the information uh, mm. now that's going to be fucking annoying and, mm-hmm, and, mm-hmm. and draining on the body than the actual disease. Yeah. It's all the government's fault. I mean, they're dragging it on more than anything, yeah. anyone, anyone else, really, like... I mean, the hospitalization numbers, I don't know what to believe because I'm hearing mixed things about it. You know, I'm hearing the government's going to say it's bad, but then I've heard, I've heard of, I've heard of people who work in hospitals. This is conspiracy, if you will, but I've heard people who've worked in hospitals on Twitter and nurses and stuff saying it's not bad at all. Like, this is all phony. Mm -hmm. Like, I literally work, they're like, I work in hospitals, I work in ICU and like, it's about average. And so this one nurse got went on to explain how it opened my mind. They're like, the reason why the hospitals are like drowning because of COVID is because they were already drowning before COVID, because our our healthcare system's broken is working at one hundred and ten percent. That any little like disruption in 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 like more people going to the hospital just blows up the whole system. Yeah. Everyone's or the ho- the fucking system's broken to begin with. So all it took was a pan like a, a pandemic to increase the numbers and fucking blow it up. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like that makes sense. Five years ago, if you had a fucking, uh, you, you hurt your knee, you'd, you'd be still be waiting in the fucking, for hours. Yeah, yeah, you'd be waiting there for a whole day. Like mm-hmm. the, the the our healthcare system's already already at full capacity before COVID. Yeah. yeah, you know, and people were already waiting a long time. There was already barely enough beds before COVID, right? So like. How much of it is an excuse of the government, you know, making excuses instead of actually fixing the problem, which is the healthcare system, which is actually kind of trash. I don't know. Like, again, this is just like through word of mouth type shit that I'm hearing. But I mean, people who actually work in hospitals, like they're, they really know what's going on. Right. Mm -hmm. The fuck does Doug Ford really know what's going on? Like, he's like a talking head to me. Doug's out here, man. He's in the streets. So. (laughs) So, and I believe it. I believe the, the healthcare system is, is probably already stressed from the beginning. You know, those, the nurses are already underpaid, already understaffed before COVID. Fuck COVID. Like, let's say this is 2019. It was probably already like that before that. Yeah. Okay, cool. Then, bam, COVID hit. Then they're really fucked. 
And now the government has to make any little excuse to like help their already fucked up problem in the health in the healthcare system, right? It's like COVID show showed the true weakness of the hospitals here. I would say of humanity. Of human, sure. Of yeah, civilization, a lot of that too, bro. The economy. Yeah, yeah. How feeble it is, and yeah, um, housing. Yeah, what, small what, businesses. What is like yeah. yeah, how we yeah our treatment of small businesses versus like how insulated the big boxes are really are and fucking. What's the Canadian Tire guy's name? Just because he knows man's? Oh, right, yeah. right, right, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. that guy, yo. That's how it works, man. I'm gonna st- I, sold his- I sold my stock. Don't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I sold my stock. Also, this is totally random, but do you guys ever donate when they ask to donate? They do it at like Loblaws and shit. Uh, uh, one in twenty times. Maybe. Yeah, like, like sometimes, right? Like yeah, occasionally. Like, if yeah. I have a fucking dollar, I think dollar Loblaws on does it a lot. I think Canadian Tire does it. If I just <laughs> got paid. Go. So apparently, maybe you guys already knew this. This might be common knowledge, but apparently, they can use your donations to write it off in their taxes. Yeah, charities or their charities. So they almost use your donations to pay less tax. Yeah. Oh, yo, I was going <laughs> to so say... So that's why I don't do it anymore. Yeah. Because I figured that out. And I'm like, what? <laughs> this is fucking dumb. I was thinking the other day, just so schemes. Snake. Money schemes and shit like that. Um, you know, it's controversial, but not really. Yo, I was going to say, if all of us fails, after the uh, the trades company that we come up with, the flooring, carpet, the carpentry yeah. and all that shit. The what? The trades company that we're going to have. Oh, you just hop in a van. What do you? What do you got? You got broken toilet. Lost, you got, lost in something. I don't know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> lost in crafts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> their name yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Um, after that, we should uh, start a church. Yo. A what? A That's church? Sick. Not religious. Sick. Don't give a fuck. <laughs> you don't. No one needs to know. We just need to act the part. Yeah. Are oh, you really trying to get into the scam? Bro, we should just get uh, some fucking bread. <laughs> Pastors are scammers, bro. Gemstones, have you yeah. Heard? yeah, 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 I have. Tell me how the Catholic Sick. Church is the richest organization in the world, bro. I'm saying, I'm just saying, yeah, boring. apparently the Catholic Church owns the most land in New York City. Did you know that? Because they there's bare crown lands that yeah. used to get money yeah. for churches and yeah. shit back in the day. The Catholic right? yeah. Church owns the most land, bro. Yeah. They I'm have saying, the most land in New York City. That could be us. <laughs> 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 Tell me how that makes, like, this, like fuck. <laughs> got Kevin on the keys. Yeah, the Oregon. Yeah, we got the, the Oregon. Oregon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. sweating. Sweating, man. I'm preaching, bro. <laughs> Stomping my feet. Pulling the, pull deep. I said, in the You're going to be dunking babies, bro. Yeah, bro. And, you just, and then they're just falling over, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. I'm saying. Dude, it those, could be hard, bro. Those crazy bapt. Like, they dunk the baby, bro. And they like spinning them around and they yeah. dunk it. And we can make it this, like, if we do it, we can make it a real production. We have the people, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah, the show Righteous Gemstones, uh, the yeah. second season just started. The mm. first season was cool, but the second season has Eric Andre now and shit. Yeah. And it's like, they're amping it up. But that's what it's about. It's just about like televangelists, basically. Mm. It's just, yeah, I was thinking about that when I was watching it too. I was just like, yo, like, people still believe in this shit? Yeah, bro. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's crazy. I was just thinking about it because, you know, did you hear the story of the, the pastor that died a couple weeks ago or something like that? No. And uh, they were like renovating the church. Right, and knocked on a wall, cash. No, what is this Ozark? Cash in the walls. Jeez, cash in a bunch of the walls. That's bro. what I want. It's fucking insane. <laughs> I want to have so much money. We gotta hide it, yeah. bro. On some Pablo shit. Yeah, like, where rats are eating it. And yeah, shit. <laughs> I gotta <laughs> bury this shit. <laughs> You got a rat. <laughs> yeah. Or you got rats with a cigarette yeah. in their ear. I'm sitting in, 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 in bad know, like, bitches to America strapped with money on them. Yo, we need to like have <laughs> trained moles, you know, digging underground tunnels. Real hiding shit, money. hiding money, bro, with whenever, maps. Yeah. <laughs> whenever yeah. we need it, wherever you are in the city, you, you just call up one of them and you're like, yo. Yeah, and a man just pokes up from a sewer. <laughs> yo, I got you. Here's your hundred racks. But... I'm just saying, you know, it's a possibility. The church game would be hot. Yeah. I think it'd be very entertaining. Yeah. I think we'd be very entertaining. I think we would put on a real production, a real great show. With yeah. the right team, the right people, the right location. The right... We're going to have to convert some men's. The right painted glass. Ooh. Yeah. Fire. Imagine some Yo, fire. You, when's the last time you saw some good stained glass? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Stained glass, not painted glass. Stained glass. Uh, so it sounds like you want to start a cult. 
No, 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 no. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go the Christian route. We're gonna keep uh, it Christian. Uh, yeah. Christian cult. Yeah, no, it's not even a cult. We're gonna be doing the same. I'm gonna do the research. We'll, I'm yeah, gonna read the we'll book. Get baptized. We'll get you know. We'll yeah, get, I'm gonna read the, the book already. Yeah. and shit like that. I'm good to go. Is you know I'm just saying like we could just. These guys are looking horrible. Yeah. What the hell is that? that? No, I didn't watch the Harry Potter. Apparently, she wanted to fuck him. Apparently. What? Did you hear that? Well, she he was to fuck Malfoy. Ew. Was it Malfoy or yeah. the other guy? She had a crush on Malfoy. She had a crush oh, on it was Malfoy? Malfoy. Oh yeah, yeah. Draco. Ew. She would. Draco. Like in real life. Not even because you know, like Draco, he glowed up a little bit in the end, ish. But the first that guy's head got too big at the yeah, end. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> then that shit was crazy when he kicked Harry in the fucking face when yeah. he. What movie was that? It was I can't remember if it was Order of the Phoenix or oh, the Half Blood Prince. We just watched it. Watch our reaction. I think it was Half Blood Prince, <laughs> and this nigga kicks him in the fucking face and on the train. Mm. Oh yeah, crazy. Mm. Anyways, fuck Malfoy. Um, but yeah, think about it. Think about the church. You guys, let me know. We could start mm. investing today. Mm. I'll put us. I'll put aside some money in an account and. You start working on it. If you think about it, like, when it comes down to it, like, everybody's just asking for money, you know? Like, mm-hmm. everybody is just, like, yeah. everybody's thing. It doesn't matter what you do in this life. You're just asking people for money. That's fire. With, the, with, with, the, with religion? Yeah, that shit's crazy. Yeah, that shit looks fire. With the, the Mexican? Yeah. yeah, the fiesta? Sorry. When, when, uh, <laughs> yeah, when, when you're in a church, people are just giving you money, and you don't, you know, you don't feel bad, they don't feel bad. Everything else, you're just kind of, like... Why are you giving me this money? But if it's you know, the word of God, mm. you know, mm. we don't got a disc because we got a. It's really been the biggest scam ever. Yeah, I mean, it's been the biggest uh, conflict creator in the world. <laughs> Everything. The biggest divider yeah. of humanity. Yeah. <laughs> this thing that's supposed to be the salvation of us has been the thing that's created the most <clears throat> rifts and yeah. boundaries which and is, borders. Which is dumb because you're supposed to be Christians. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. Like, aren't you supposed to be just good people? Who gives a fuck? No. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, uh, you guys heard of the show Vikings? Yeah. 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 So I, I've been watching it. It's it's there's a lot of fucking episodes, man. I'm on like season five of six, mm. and I've been watching it for like over a month and a half now. Anyways, you bring up Christianity. Christianity is like a big part of the show because this is like the ninth century, like England, and like the Viking era era and everything like that. And like they owned that par- those part like Wales and shit. Before the Christians and them came in, right? The uh, you mm. mean the Vikings? Yeah. The Vikings. Uh, well, well, they were in that. They were. They did lands. during that time. They did during about a hundred year in that hundred year period. The Vikings did conquer England. Like Scarborough um, is a Norse word, right? And is that, it? Eh? Yeah, it was, a, it was a Norse village. Yeah, yeah. And then the English conquered or whatever, and they just kept yeah. the name. They so, kept a lot of. Norse names. Before the Vikings, like, not to get into the history too much, but before the Vikings attacked uh, England in the 9th century, uh, England was, like, Anglo-Saxon. They were, like, they spoke Old English, whatever. They were, like, whatever. They were, like, you know, ancient... They were barbarians because the, uh, there were those, those were two tribes, the Anglo's and the and the Saxons. Yeah, but they were a little more sophisticated. They did they, have well, kingdoms and they had kings. Yeah, yeah, they probably were in the beginning, yeah. but then they over they, hundreds they of years. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, they had kings, they had kingdoms, they had royalty and and whatever. They were they were knights. It was it was early medieval times. Okay, whatever. And then the Vikings came over. They found the land. Long story short, over like a hundred year period, they eventually conquered it and they they kind of ruled it for a while until eventually they came back and kicked them out. Anyways. Basically, they were Christians at the time, and Christianity was, like, so fucking dark back then, dude. Like, just the rules they made, the rules the church made back then was so fucked. Like, it was just like, oh, like, women have no rights, blah, blah, blah. Like, this is the word of God. And it was funny because in contrast to these barbarians that they thought were the Vikings, the Viking women had equal rights. Women were allowed to to fucking rule kingdoms and towns and women were allowed to fight in war. But then you go over to the Christianity side and women weren't allowed to do anything but basically give birth, mm-hmm. right? The women weren't even allowed to write. They weren't allowed to read. They weren't allowed to paint. They weren't allowed to fucking do anything but basically like fuck and like have babies so the, and be like a queen of a king yeah. or a princess of a prince, right? If they were, were to be married to one of them. That was it. And it was crazy. It was so backwards, even though like... Well, that's God why was their will the and everything. Medieval times were yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, regression and yeah. in humanity, like people, we took a step back, or we it, they call that's why they call it the Dark Ages because yeah. it's like it felt like it was it just basically like, it was. Yeah, and it's just funny how they 
they criticized the pagans, which were the Vikings, but the Vikings had a more progressive outlook on life, which is interesting mm-hmm. to think. Now they didn't understand that back then, because like whatever. And the bishops and the in the and the, uh, the the church made up all the rules. You know what I mean? So, um, but it was complete bullshit. But then on the lows, they're all fucking each other anyways, yeah. being in like fa- unfaithful. Everyone's cheating on each other in the show. Like <laughs> they're fucking Vikings. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's a lot of source material that's the like, same as the as Vinland Saga. Right. Vinland Saga is more um, historically yeah. accurate. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's more fiction. And, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Viking show is pretty accurate. Like, all the characters are real people for the most part. And some of the events are real. But, like, obviously, there's, like, a fuck ton of... Exaggerated. They have to make a show, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Same thing for Vinland Saga. It's fuck like, ton of filler. Same. It's like, it's, like, real characters, yeah, real people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, there but there's, like, an anime flair to it. Yeah. There's yeah, anime like, action. Yeah, there's, like, an episode where they attack this one monastery, which was technically the first time Vikings ever, like, landed in England. Um, and then, like, there's this other part where they attack Paris, which was, like... Paris was... It wasn't called France. It was called, like, Francia or some shit. And they spoke, like, an old version of French. Mm-hmm. But uh, <clears throat> they did. The Vikings attacked Paris, too, back then. And, like, didn't conquer it, but they fucked it up. Stole a lot of shit. Mm-hmm. It's crazy, yeah. They they were everywhere, but basically, yeah. Christianity was like so fucked, it's so weird. It went through a weird period. It's, it was it still was, it never. It never. <laughs> it never grew up. It yeah. never really did. It kind of yeah. Because yeah. if you, know you think I mean? about those same principles, once they found the way, once the Christians found the way to like travel all around the world, they came, yeah. they went around everywhere. They came here, and they're like. I don't get what these indigenous people are doing. Yeah. They went to Africa. It's like, Kill I don't em. get what those people are doing. Like, Take them. Bring them over there. <laughs> Even Islam back then, and Islam was a new religion back then. It did exist. It was only like 100 years old or something like that. And that was more progressive too. Yeah. You know what I mean? They, they had their own shit going on. And they, but then they started <laughs> we'll blame fighting. them for everything. Yeah, and then they started fighting each other. So. Yeah, yeah. And then that, I mean, the Crusades are like... <laughs> Which happened about probably 200 years after the Viking era. Yeah. The Crusades. Um, like 11th. And then the other thing that's stupid about that too is like the the Islam started as like a, it's 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 Christian not Christianity part two but like Mm. it's a it's it's a continuation like they believe in everything that happened in Christianity and they believe in everything that happened in Judaism you know which is funny it's like Christians they 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 don't they believe their God is the only God right and every other everyone else is like pagan or like whatever but then like Islam back then they're like yeah we we understand there were other prophets. Yeah. Like he, our prophet is not the only prophet. Yeah, he's like the, they he's were the most recent one. Most recent Jesus one. was like the second most recent. Yeah, prophet. but then, <clears throat> but then you look at Christianity and back then, and they're like, "What the fuck?" Like, this, yeah. Muhammad's not a real person. Yeah. Like, that's that doesn't exist. Yeah. Like that it stops. Here. That's some fuck shit. Like, yeah. yeah. So it's just like the way they think was interesting compared to other people. Like, I don't know. I just it's, it's weird. And and then on top of that, they're fucking straight up murdering each other for what? <laughs> for land and shit. But they. They say it's for God, but like, dude, you're literally chopping man's heads off. Like, yeah. <laughs> like what? That's that's, just, that, that can't be holy. Yeah. Like, that's just life. That's so weird, man. <laughs> we haven't really like, humanity hasn't had the time to be able to be like, yo, what, what are the, what are the consequences of what happened in that, in that time period? And like, since, you know, because we haven't really moved past that. I was listening to uh, some Joe Rogan clip today. And it was about it was about the aliens, but we're not gonna get into that. <laughs> um, but basically, this guy was basically saying that. I'm flashing, by the way, but just, I'll keep it quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. you know you're good. Um, this guy was basically saying like if you were to take all of uh, humanity's history and put it into a book, it would be about 800 pages long, hmm. right? And Summarized, literally, yeah. the final paragraphs, maybe just sentences would be the, right now like the last like 100 years yeah not even maybe not even the last couple of years yeah like nuclear stuff it'd be like <laughs> the last like how many couple of years like 20, uh 20 years or 30 years like yeah i would say like 30 to 40 years or something i'd say like from that. world war ii to now yeah, yeah from like the world last war II two to sentences now. would be like oh yeah and computers and <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. <laughs> yeah you're trying to finish yeah, yeah. off your essay <laughs> computers internet yeah. cell phone yeah done robots yeah <laughs> ai Probably yeah, it wouldn't even get like a full. It'd be just like vid, the vid, you know. The, exactly. Omaria. There was a pen. There was a pandemic. Yeah, it was like three years. Though. They couldn't even spell when, when pandemic. You're, when you're writing in a word prompt box that has like a limit, and then it just cuts it yeah. off. Like you wouldn't even get past. It'd just be I'm a, 
it's like every word in the last sentence would be just an event that yeah. happened. Michael Jackson, uh, <laughs> COVID, uh, <laughs> Bill Cosby, <laughs> all this crazy shit. Like, look at it. Like, I just like, okay, so our, we've been in this pandemic for two years. Okay, Black Death was like the craziest pandemic. That pandemic was from 1346 to 1352, bro. That's deep. Wow. That's how long, like shit. Just <laughs> that's how long that COVID back. is. Yeah, and like, and that's what they were saying. Bro. Like they were just like back in the day, shit was just long <laughs> shit, shit and boring. Just, shit took a like, long time. Like nothing was time happening to move. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. Like three hundred years later, they're still fighting with swords. Yeah, exactly. And they're still kings, and they're still, we still have basic tools. I hate still, hammers. Like, they, they just they they made a wheel, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm just kidding. That's that's a long time ago, but yeah. <laughs> and we're still using the wheel. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and then and then like and then like big civilizations came up like the Romans and then they fell and then they lost all that technology mm-hmm. and then they had to relearn it. You know what I mean? Yeah, like it was ups and downs like for yeah. the longest period because what happens was like someone would conquer another person, they would destroy all the fucking information that that civilization learned. Yep. And then they'd have to fucking take another 300 years to figure it out again or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, so it was just it was dumb. <laughs> like that library that Alexander yeah. the Great had that had yeah. like all the books of, of history. And like they, somebody just burned it. Like, I mean, it. that's where that's burned where we got it. fucked. Yeah. <laughs> Cuz we would have learned all the old shit. Yeah. yeah. We would have <laughs> known magic, about aliens. Magic, aliens, yeah. Are you cutting the fish in front of me? Like, what is going on? <laughs> Dude, like, I don't know. It's it's weird. Like, is this, is this how... G- are you Jiro? Like... <laughs> yeah, yo. Are you Jiro? Are you the legend? Are you Jiro? The are you legend? cutting your... Are you making you me... You dream of sushi, are bro? You, what the fuck? There's a sushi spot in Etobicoke. I thought... I forgot what it's called. Um, It's in this random plaza, too. Like, you wouldn't expect it to be expensive, bro. And it's like two, $200 for sushi, bro. <laughs> Crazy. It's like crazy because the guy's Japanese and he's like this authentic, this this mat next level legend guy who works there. I don't know. I looked it up, but basically, yeah, bro. Like if you go on Google, it has like the four dollar sign. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah bro. You know, that's what, that's what you know. And it's like yeah. nope. <laughs> it has like the four dollar signs, bro, and it's like. Wait, it's I'll like, pass. It's like you get like you get like a sashimi, whatever, like fucking eight pieces is like two hundred bucks. That's wild. <laughs> You're gonna eat it in like fucking five minutes. Yeah, two hundred bucks. It's like the same price as like a fucking like a high end steak, like from one of the best steakhouses in the city. That's crazy. When did they say we're not gonna have sushi anymore? Like twenty five years. Maybe? Wait, Something why? Like that, what, yeah. what do you what? What do you mean? <laughs> the fish are gonna be too uh, shit polluted or toxic. Yeah. You're kidding me. Or but yeah, there's, there's gonna be too much. It's like water. salmon, right? Like what? Okay, odd, like most su- most sushi is salmon or tuna, most right. Uh, yeah, but they do other shit. But yeah, I get you. But like salmons are usually like. What's but it that's they're gonna like that's... factory like like they're farmed. They're not real like. But the water is just gonna be that fucked. At some point, mm. that. Well, if you're really thinking about it, the place that you want to get sushi from, and sushi and the place... as we know it will be wiped out by 2050. 2050, yeah. So Japan's fucked then. Yes and no. Well, like the majority of their shit, they're gonna be eating out of vending machines, like. Everywhere. And also, they're uh, fine with that. According to Wild Wildlife, <laughs> it's very possible that the world could run out of fish by twenty forty eight. Oh yeah! Come on, that's crazy. And that's and then think about that. Just so, let's think about my one of my the favorite world movies is like ever. Seventy five percent water, and the water is like ten thousand feet deep. Let's think about one of my favorite movies fish. ever, and this is the time that this shit's happening. Interstellar. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? So that's probably Interstellar is probably about twenty years after twenty thirty years after that. Yo, what if we got fish farms on Mars, bro? Alien fish? Can there be water on Mars? There is, they found water on Mars. Yeah, they found so water. So they can make fish farms on Mars, bro. Man, Martian fish? Yeah. Martian <laughs> Martian salmon? Bro. I feel like that would look like the one from uh, <laughs> uh, Futurama. Is it Futurama? I don't know. The guy with the fishbowl head? American Dad? It's American, American Dad, Dad, American, American Dad. Dad, American yeah. Dad. My the one bad. that talks. The one that yeah. talks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah what the fuck? Yeah, is... like the Pacific bluefin. As uh, it's at Kanye two point six percent of its <laughs> of its uh, population. Two point six. Yeah. What was that, bro? Kanye shared this. <laughs> Kanye punched somebody in the face today. Yeah, what was it? What's that about? Did you see the fucking news what thingy about this, it? Bro? Like the video. It was really dumb. Is this like a skinned monkey? I think it's a monkey. I don't know what to tell you. Ian. You see the girl he's dating though, uh, Julia, whatever. The baddie. Yeah, from uh, Uncut Gems. Yeah, oh. What else was she in? I don't even remember her she in... Was, hun- she was the baddie in the Gems, bro. Yeah, I didn't think... She might be, be better than I the I didn't kid. think he'd be dating, like, a white ting. Like, a white, white ting. 
She's like, <sighs> like I know she's white, but Kim is technically that white. ass isn't. You know, <laughs> is she thick? I don't know. Yeah. She's thick, yeah. Oh, she is. Yeah, I know, it, like when, when she doesn't when look like it from started, the front. I'm like, like you know, she's 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 nice. And then as the no, movie yeah. kept going on, I'm like, yo, I saw that clip she of them. Like top three. Did, like. did you see the clip of them sitting on the couch with Madonna, some other white bitch on the floor, and Antonio Brown and fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. Thing. I was looking at her. I'm like, hmm. The way Ye was gripsing on that thigh, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> there might be something over there. That's uh, organic meat, bro. That's, That's organic, farm wolf, fed, farm, farm fed, yeah. white breast, free range. The white meat. Free bands. <laughs> Free bands. She is thick. <laughs> she is like, thick. She's not like Kim, but Kim's like fake. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a difference. Like she's like a real like... That's what he's saying. Free thick. range. She's actually... Yeah, yeah. She's actually... It's not real. bad for a white girl. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, white girls these days have some... Yeah, bands. that's yeah. true. <laughs> Everybody's got, some Everybody's got some ass. Everybody's got some ass. Learn the secrets. To Yo, can you? You know how crazy it is? Like what? 10, 15, ass, 20 years ago, it was all about being skinny. Yeah. If you had an ass, it's like oh, ew. Like, you have, my butt that was a joke. Yeah. Like oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That what was I watching? I saw a clip from like either Mean Girls or or like one of those older or was about, movies. Or and was about like, big tits, I think at least. No, right? Big tits was yeah, like yeah, in because yeah, yeah, Pamela yeah. Anderson and shit. Anderson, uh, and, Anderson, uh, like Paris Hilton. Like, yeah. yeah, Paris Hilton. No, she had no titties at all. No. no, she had nothing going on. Then, then I'm. She had a mouth. She was still like <laughs> sexually. That like, throat. Well, she had a, a sex goal. tape. Yeah. Yeah. She caught a nut in the throat. More, more. Yeah, no, like yeah, right. no. The Hilton, you know, like seventies, eighties Playboy. It was just big titties and like nothing. no ass. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a little curve, like a little white curve. bitches. Yeah. A little curve. But, just because like, they were so crazy. skinny that like yeah. their legs, you know, like you yeah, there's a bump, but. It was that. It's like the Dave Chappelle skit when he was like, you know. Yeah, it's like the a little uh, incision, <laughs> a pancake, butt. like a like a Bella Hadid or or like a body type like that. Something like that, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, no, but she's got like. Oh, they're not yeah. thick. They're like they're like a different type of skinny though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm. They're a lot prettier than those girls. Because mm. it used to be about too. being like showing bone almost, not that not that extreme, but like you know what I mean, like skinny. Yeah. Like, yeah. Just watch like mid two thousands buddy comedies and like. I was gonna say like Clueless like, or shit movies like that, but yeah. they're like, oh, your ass is fat. Yeah. And I'm like, that's an insult. Yeah. Back then, these days you tell a girl her ass is fat, she's like, hey. Yeah. It's just crazy how the world just I remember, changes like, their opinion on your body. Recollections of that as a kid, where I'm like, "What's what's bad about a fat ass?" Like, yeah, I'm like, "Yo, what are you talking about?" It might change again. Because I remember seeing J Lo. It will change. I like, again. I remember seeing J Lo. I was like, "Holy yeah. fuck!" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy that's shit! Why I like, that's why I like the implants thing is like crazy to me. Because like, how the fuck do you know? Not in 15 years that the the the, the, the big ass might not be the thing anymore. It better be forever. But like, if it's permanent. Well, then you it, just I mean, I, it's not like, you know, you just became don't get, a phase. Don't, not the comically big asses, you know, like it's about like looking like the nice, Kims and the, yeah, and yeah, the China's ill and the, <laughs> the bugs life, the ants, the ants, yeah, the ants, yeah, the ants, yeah, ants, ants. yeah, that's what they're looking like, you know, I'm trying to think who else has a crazy one. Apparently that shit is amazing though, Nick, allegedly. Like the, the, the feeling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. People Better say be. you, you think you wouldn't like it, but then you're just in it and you're like, yo, mm-hmm. allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> Through the grapevine, apparently. <laughs> yeah, that's what I've heard. <laughs> word um, on the street. That's the word on the, the, on the street. All right, shit. Then when are we going to Atlanta? I've been. I'm the so, strip clubs in Atlanta? But they shut down the main one. What was it? The one that shut down was it? Magic Dime? City? Magic City. Why? Was it Magic City? Why did they shut yeah. it down? Because of COVID and shit. Oh, okay. Really? They care about COVID there? Some I thought that shit don't exist over there. <laughs> nah, it's okay. That's what I'm yeah. fucking saying, bro. I mean, fucking Raptors games are empty and look at this shit. Yeah. This is even know it's COVID. Where is this? Uh, Denver. Denver, okay. It wouldn't be Portland. Portland would be empty. Portland's fucked, bro. Yeah. That's like one city I, I, I vouch never to go to. <laughs> it's Portland. It's, Portland seems all right, I don't know. It doesn't seem I very good. I would go there, but like, it seems if, like if you had to go there, like someone. Yeah, some I wonder what's going on over there. Fucking just white people, a lot of them. It's just hipster, yeah. Yeah, it's like, but like, worse than Toronto. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Like you know, 
coffee and biking and yeah, and it's raining a lot. Yeah, it's like Seattle, but not like, like less, little less cool than Seattle. Warrior, you know? yeah, mm, that's like what they in live. your in your face, like yeah. everybody. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like glasses and uh, the nose, the, the septum, and the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I like the septum, people. but those people. Okay, I feel. You. I can't fuck with the septum on. Like it the doesn't septum. look good on a lot of people. A girl has a septum. I don't mind the septum. The septum's cool. The if septum it fits, doesn't mean yeah. if it fits your face. Some yeah. girls have the septum. It doesn't mean that they want to like fight you on Twitter. It doesn't mean that. No, nah, that's no. cool. Some of yeah. them are. No, cool. no, yeah, no. But then no, there was not, a it's time. Not like a personality thing. I'm just saying it just doesn't look good on some people. There was a few years back where everybody yeah. was just getting septums. Yeah, bro, exactly, And I'm just yeah. like, it's yeah, not I need for to everybody. Chill. Yeah. And oh, then remember, and when we were in high school, the whole scene shit was going on, so everybody had the snake bites. Yeah. It was uh, just like too much. I don't like the snake bites. Yeah, man. I don't like any lip piercings. They don't look bad. The lip piercings I was into for a minute, I mean, I'm just like, that just doesn't. Mm-hmm. I don't know. A septum is the one that, for some reason, I think is kind of cute. No, I like the septum. The septum, like, the septum, like cool. the the septum is probably about the only facial one that I accept. And I might accept a Medusa, but like that's if I'm really like you have to be that about that life. You know what the I mean? Medusa, which one? Did I that's a uh, right here, I believe. Oh, the middle one. Yeah. Actually, my girl has that. Yeah, your girl has one that, that one as well. Technically, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. But yeah. she's your girl's about that life, so I'm just like, all right, cool. Medusa, whatever, right? Medusa yeah, maybe Medusa's okay. And the tongue. The tongue's okay, as long as you're not sticking out your tongue every five seconds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because yeah, you know what every, that means. In every photo. Yeah. Yeah, tell us you suck dick without telling me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly yeah. Tell us you have a great head without telling me you have a great head. Okay, whatever. Have you ever got a head with a, with a, with a ring? I can't speak about that on here. <laughs> But no, no, I have not. Just to make it clear, I have I, not. I have, I have. I have not. I have a long time ago, but I have. <laughs> I have not. It does feel weird. But I feel like it'd be kind of cool. I shouldn't even be talking about this because my girl listens to this. <laughs> <laughs> Drama. It was a long time ago, though. It was a long time it ago. It doesn't matter, yo. It was a long time ago. For but somebody to say, even know. Let's just say there's some, there's some piercings that, that, that have the vibrate going on. There's there's like lip, there's, there's tongue piercings that vibrate. <laughs> they got that installed. Yeah. Wait, I just noticed I moved the mic all the way over here. Whatever, it's too late now. <laughs> We're sharing it. Okay. Um, wait, they got the vibrations installed. Like 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 it's it goes in their tongue like a normal ring, but it vibrates. Like it's a sex thing. That's how you know you're just taking it to the extreme. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like this, tongue is just and it's vibrating on your, on your <laughs> on your member. On your member. Like, I don't care how that feels on me, bro. Like your tongue is just vibrating and like you're... on your free time? <laughs> like what's up? <laughs> like just in class. No, like, you put it into <laughs> No, you literally put it into Oh, you put it in to give yeah, head. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So what the fuck are these bitches? <laughs> what are they doing? What are they trying it's to do? It's some man? weird shit you get at like Spencer's or some shit. <laughs> anyway, so we need to get off of that. I don't want to <laughs> picture this anymore. Yeah. You know what we do need to talk about? The return of the greatest show on television. <laughs> Fillmore. No, no, no. That's the, that's like the second or third. Attack on Titan. Attack on Fuck. Titan is back. <laughs> and again, nobody I'm cares. Out. I'm out. Nobody. Ca- Ian needs to get on this show. Yeah, this is like a Jamile podcast. I, I just don't know why Ian doesn't get on this shit, but it's all good, man. You'll get on it sooner, and then you'll be like, "Wow, I wish I watched this when it was coming out." No, it's, you know, what, like it'll, it'll it's, it's gonna be done. So it's gonna be done, so yeah. you can watch it. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. like Finish you know, that. it's like yeah. fifth or sixth on my list. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's laughing now. Yeah, when he's watching it, he's gonna be like, "Yo, this is crazy." But anyways, Attack on Titan is back every Sunday around between what, like one and three or something like that. I don't know what time true, it comes true. out yet. First episode just dropped of the new season, or the new part of the season. Technically, episode 17. And it was Heat. Was he? Did you get to see it, Kevin? No, I haven't watched it. No, you haven't watched I'm it? Gonna, I'm going to wait. Or, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll see. We'll see. Because I've been watching uh, JoJo's. Are you watching JoJo's? Reaction. Oh, okay, sick. Mm. Fucking sick. That show's, that show's really good. Yeah. I haven't been able to really continue it, but I do enjoy it whenever yeah. I do watch it. I, I take a long time to watch that show. Yeah, yeah. Like, I just throw on, like, one episode every now and then. Mm-hmm. It's it's It's... Formulaic, but like a good type of formula, you know. Yeah, like, yeah, and I like the pacing. Of yeah. It. Um, but yeah, the greatest show on television ever made uh, is back. I'm just very happy they dropped a new episode, ten out of ten. New opening song is a banger. Sick. Ending song is a banger as well, but very also beautiful visually. 
Um, what can I say? The boy Aaron's doing his thing, you know? Mm-hmm. That's all I got to say, folks. That's your Attack on Titan update. I don't want to make (laughs) Ian feel like he's left out. For the people that do care about Attack on Titan and are actually hip to great media. Art. Art. And storytelling. Yeah. And just a... Well, it's a good anime. I believe you. The best. No, I I know it's good. The best. Just given its cult fan base. Like, I know know it's probably good. The best. And, um, you know, they've they've made it kind of more... You don't watch dub, obviously, right? You watch, no, okay. No. Anyway, fuck the dub. Um, <laughs> that, is, that is an option for people, though. That is an I, option, yes. Probably you don't want to. Which isn't horrible. You it's know, not like, horrible. Don't, don't do it. I didn't watch dub Squid on, Game. Uh, on Netflix, yeah, yeah, so no. like on JoJo, sometimes I'll like, go back. <laughs> yeah, you switch between them. Between, just to see what the English voice sounds like. Because mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah. always curious sometimes when they introduce a new character. I'm like, okay, what is the English... Especially in like JoJo, because it's like you know sometimes it could be a British person, it could be like a German guy, like mm-hmm. an Egyptian person. And you're like, what does the English cast sound like? And it's so much worse, especially the like, just those dramatic parts that the yeah, Japanese is just like they just deliver it in they, a way. They're where real artists, bro. Yeah. They're real voice actors. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Like they're like you could you could see you could hear the voice actors in some of these in some of these animes, and you're like, yo, this yeah, this is like a Leo type performance just without me seeing it. Yeah. And you know what I get it too, because like you know when you watch like an English show in like another language, and you're like, okay, yeah, these char- these uh, dub these dub people are just like phoning it in, like that's mm-hmm. the job. Yeah. It's like what what show is this? What script? Is-? They're just like reading, right? Yeah. And that's what happens with these American guys too, because they're all the same, like the same person. Yeah, it's all the same person. Yeah. Yugi, he's also fucking yeah. whatever Brock. He's also this. He's you know like they play. And you hear movie. their voices, and you're like, oh yeah. yeah. And then you and then you kind of get turned off from it too, because those guys have such like recognizable voices and. They, not that they're like not delivering it, but it's just like there's not that same attachment, you know. Yeah, exactly. It's uh, it's a whole different. But it's just it makes sense though because anime is a Japanese art, so obviously they understand the uh, and obviously like the, the the actors that they hire like they they're like they're the ones who are getting paid for the fucking show, you know. Like, yeah. They mm-hmm. know they're making a contribution, whereas the dub actors are just like, here, you know, fill this in. You yeah, know, exactly. We need to translate in. this. You know? Yeah, yeah make it sound kind of good. Yeah. But yeah, man, Attack on Titan's back. I'm happy. I know what I'm doing for the next, uh, what, about 12 weeks or so. I don't know how many episodes we're getting, but let's say 12. So, I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They didn't say it, right? No, they didn't say So nobody knows how long it's going to be yet, and nobody knows if we're going to get a movie to end it or mm. what. Uh, I just want the episodes, but if they do a movie, I'm not going to be mad. I'm going to go either way. Um, but yeah. For you. Euphoria is back as well. I've never watched it. I heard it's good. I watched the first episode. I heard it's good. I saw a tweet where somebody's like, like, it's like A24. It's like the A24 version of Degrassi. I've seen a little of it. I haven't watched it, but like like that, but I've seen a little bit of it because my girl puts it on and then I sit with her and watch it. And like, I don't know, like, it's definitely on that edgy teen vibe where it's like trying to be like, Oh, look at these kids who have this like fucked up life and they're like doing drugs and fucking and they're doing heroin. Like <laughs> But like if if that's if that's your shit, then cool. But like yeah. I mean it is HBO. Generally HBO shows are pretty good. I think Zendaya plays a more interesting character away from all their Disney shit that she's used to. But like is she doing anything? She doesn't get nude or anything like that. You know that. what I mean? So it's like, but, like what am I watching? But like there's a lot of tits in that show. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what everyone's told me. Tits. Everyone that's watching it, they're like tits. Yeah. Lot lot like, tits. But the, but no, there's a lot of dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's literally what they, <laughs> I was literally about to say that. There's a right lot of, after they tell me there's a lot of tits, they're like, there's also a lot of dick. <laughs> Like, but lot. that's true of, of pretty much every show <laughs> that dick. that that has a lot of titties. Like Maybe full except Game ass of Thrones. Dick in your face. Yeah, Game of Thrones doesn't have that many titties, and I've never oh, watched. I mean, I mean dicks. dicks. Yeah. Sorry, HBO they don't have that many yeah. dicks. HBO with the dicks, bro. I don't know what's going on over there, bro. This is the time for the, the yeah. cock. This man. is a lot of dicks, man. Free, like, yo, free the cock. I think that's what they're trying. To that's go. what we're trying to do these you days. Know, but <laughs> there's also just a lot of nudity. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's cool. Like, I'll try and get into it. But it's definitely, I think it's a little, like, extra for no reason. I was, like, gonna... It's a little, like, trying to be too edgy I was, like, and, like yeah. gonna maybe watch it the other day, and I was you just, know. like, nah. I don't know how yeah. to explain it. I don't... You just gotta watch it. I don't think you, like, I don't think we need to watch it alone. Like, if, you, if you're if you watching with your girl... And not, like, it's a sexist thing. Like, if you're watching with your But I feel like girl, I want to watch it alone, because I might be a little embarrassed. Yeah, that's true, too. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Facts. I don't know. But I've heard good things. Yeah. I've heard I've heard good things. I heard people were like, no, this gets like, it gets real. And I'm yeah. like, 
How real can it get? <laughs> yeah. There is like sensitive topics with like addiction and overdosing and people dying and drinking and driving and and there's all these things and yeah and everyone's a delinquent and it's like it's kind of like this over dramatized version of like this like if it's not edgy fucking high school kids like if it's not more dramatic they're adults yeah they're adults but like let's they're playing high school kids yeah. as adults you know what I mean the whole vibe but yeah. That's kind of like the one the one of the genres that I hate the most is teenagers who are playing adults. Adults who are playing teenagers who yeah. are playing roles that are clearly It's like, like a rated R version characters. of Riverdale. Like it's like if if you put if you took Riverdale but then everyone was fucking each yeah, other and doing heroin. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and like next level drugs and shit. And there's like Do men remember the episode of Fresh Prince when yeah. Carlton has the gun? Yeah. If it's not more dramatic than that, <laughs> I don't need to. Oh, that's the gun, bro. Remember that shit? I, I can't I remember, remember what happened. He got like embarrassed at school like before, and then he got injured or something yeah. like that. I can't remember exactly what or happened. Did Will get Will got robbed, Will got shot or were shot? He got shot. Right. My bad, my yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. was and Carlton it, buys a gun. Yeah, yeah, Carlton buys a gun, and he's like, "Bro, Will, it's not gonna happen again." Yeah, he's and like, then scrapped. Will's like. Give me the gun. Give me the gun, man. Give me the gun. Give me the fucking gun, Carlton. <laughs> Yo, that shit was crazy, bro. Yeah. It was not more dramatic those than that. Those shows always had those couple real episodes. Yeah, they had to. Those real ones. We got to see everybody's range. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, and then they're doing the Fresh Prince reboot, apparently. Which apparently is also looking okay. People like are with different actors and everything. Well, they're making it, this one's going to be more serious, not as funny. They're trying to keep it a different type Jane of vibe. In it. <laughs> No, no, no. I don't know. I don't. I don't know the full cast. I haven't seen the trailer yet. I was gonna watch it the other day. I forgot. I don't know what the hell Will Smith's been on lately. He was in that uh, <laughs> Serena, Serena uh, movie. I don't know what's. Yeah, apparently. that's apparently uh, King Richard. King pretty Richard. good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's probably his most his best role recently. Yeah. That he's done. Which I mean, we called him out. Like, when was the last time he really had? It? Apparently, this man did Pursuit. ayahuasca like a hundred times in the last three years or some shit. <clears throat> I can believe that. <laughs> yeah. The way he's been moving, the way he this guy so, must be he just fried, talks bro. Talks so slow, and he thinks everything he says is like the most profound thing. You he know? must. Yeah. He's, he's becoming fried, bro. I'm worried for him. A little you bit. have he, to I do that. I'm been... waiting for his Joe Rogan podcast. Mm. That'll be good. Oh my god! Tell me that wouldn't be fire. Like, I don't know. He's going through a midlife crisis, man. Midlife. The man's fifty, bro. Like fifty something. Guess a little past midlife, but yeah, sure. I don't know. He's just, I think he's just tired of his wife going on, <laughs> call it saying shit that she doesn't need to be saying. Like, bitch, <laughs> I'd be so pissed. Is she at evil? Her. Like she's kind of fucked. She's it. not evil, but she's just like I think she just keeps sh- saying things that we don't need to know about their she's marriage. She's just like, like yeah, she's like not happy in her marriage, which yeah. is cool and all. And I get it. You guys stuck yo. it out for the kids. Yeah. You guys stuck it out for you know for each other. We get that. We've known this from time. That's bro. everybody's marriage. Yeah, but um, like I don't need to hear about it. Like. He, he went from this. Remember, he was like traveling the world, doing those vlogs. I remember watching like, <laughs> like some, he was on Disney or some. I shit. remember watching one of those like VH1, whatever celebrity, whatever things. Mm-hmm. I remember they were talking about his first wife and how like they had problems. I remember that time, whatever that was, like early two thousands. I'm like, okay, yeah, like that's how Hollywood that's, life is. Yeah, you know? well, like, that's how it works. It's, not, it's just not gonna be different with Jada just because they're like what they're perfect for each other. And you're gonna go pick up Tupac's ex, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, that's legendary. Yeah, well, he's dating Tupac's ex. That's who Jada is. Yeah, that's she, who she. She's was. honestly more famous because she's Tupac's yeah. ex, oh, ex right, than right, her right. acting. Yeah, yeah. The, what was that one movie yeah, right, with the uh, fuck? Were there fucking robbers and shit? Her Queen Latifah. Yeah, and mm-hmm. I can't remember right yeah. now. Um, that's a classic. But other than that, Jada, uh, I don't know. She hasn't really been popping off in much. But she was just known as Tupac's, Tupac's ex. Will Smith's wife, basically. Legendary status. Crushing. I don't know. Crushing people, apparently. Uh, uh, her? Yeah. But she was mad, apparently, because he crushed Margot. Crushing Ro- August or whatever. No, he crushed Margot, remember? I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and he crushed Margot Robbie. When? Oh, because of the movie? Their movie. Yeah. Close. Is that Which, confirmed though? And that movie wasn't that bad. I saw that confirmed? movie. It was okay. Apparently, he had so much sex that he was disgusted by his own dick. Dick, <laughs> basically. <He was> a, <laughs> Which he was I a, don't even understand. He was what repulsed means. when he got a nut. <laughs> How the fuck do you have so much sex? This is the stupidest headline I've ever. Yeah, I could no, I can believe that. That's Will Smith, <laughs> bro. You, but like, I can't imagine the point where you you have had so much meaningless sex 
with a bunch of that baddies. makes complete sense to me. That, and he's but and I he's can't growing even fathom up. He's, getting to that point. He's famous. Because most of us don't in, do that in at the, all. <laughs> almost the best time of being famous in Hollywood. Yeah. Remember when we were talking about Quentin a few weeks back? Quentin, he he yeah. he came into the business at the best time. Yeah. Because he got to see everybody, all the Weinsteins doing their thing in their prime. The you know, touching bitches and shit, but also Dude, creating you know. great movies and shit. <laughs> You know what I mean? That's not so bad. Man. Hanging out with Bill but Cosby. It's but it's true. He's he's not taking in Bill's doing other shit, but it's hot. Like he everybody's hot. All yeah. the predators, bro. That's what Will Smith is. Will Smith is outside too. Have you seen that? Did you see that clip where it was that Hol- you know the Hollywood round table, the Hollywood Reporter round table where they get a bunch of actors or whatever? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They had there was one with like Tom Hanks and James Franco, and so, I don't know if it was new or old clip, but like uh, Tom Hanks was talking like going off about like yo like we've seen like you know the predatory behavior in hollywood it's like, yeah shit's sickening right yeah and then the the interview is like james what do you think about this and he his eyes are like <laughs> he's like uh yeah uh, th- yeah. that's bad of course i don't want that oh. shit to happen <laughs> shit. that shit was it was it was fun that's bro. wild yeah. but yeah that's yeah that's the game james franco though he grew up in that era too that's why it's like exactly i feel bad for him what happened to him he got called out. He's been, but he he's he been, been grooming his uh, acting students and uh, really, he's yeah. been talking to under. It, it's a bunch of different but things. But most of these yeah. men's bounce back from the Me Too, but he's like one that hasn't. I wouldn't say so because he's been he low key. He's to. been chill. Like Maybe he's, he doesn't want to. I don't know. No, nah, he's been like he's been in a good space. Like even Louis kind of coming back and doing stuff. But it's more like the focus is on his brother now. Mm. Yeah, and he's not he's not as good of an actor. He's not good. Yeah. Not, he's not as good of an actor. And even James wasn't that great. Yeah, he has his moments. I used to get him and Heath but, mixed up all the time. Mm, that's a fucking weird comparison, though. They're completely different. Yeah, but they kind of they look were in alike. a movie together. They though, look right? similar, sure, yeah. but like Heath is way better. Yeah, but still, it's like Matthew McConaughey and Matt Damon, Heath is a or or uh, oh. Matt Damon, mm-hmm. Matt Affleck? Damon, and Affleck, Ben Affleck, and no Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg. Oh, right. Well, the People and Ben Affleck, kind of. They're all from Boston. Yeah, yeah. like, they, they all yeah. kind of, and they, they kind of grew up together a little bit, right? Yeah. They have, like, Goodwill Hunting and all that shit. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, Ben Affleck and Matt Damon, I think, were, like, whatever, friends, like, mm. boy, because they wrote Goodwill Hunting. They wrote Goodwill Hunting. Yeah. yeah. And then Matt, yeah, Mark Wahlberg and Matt Damon were in Departed. They, you know, it's like. Yeah, and they're, like, they're from Boston, whatever. Yeah. They got, they got. They got the They ball. grew up in the same area, <laughs> like, they're around the same age, like, they kind of. No, I get it though, because James, the, the mm. cheekbones, James Franco and Heath Ledger, they had that sure, that sharp. Yeah, they got that that sharp. Yeah, thing, both blonde. Yeah, Franco. But was James that. Franco never really got that Joker role. I mean, he was Green Goblin or Hobgoblin or whatever, but he never got that Joker Hobgoblin. role. Yeah. 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 Oh, yo, did you guys see the new Spider Man? No. Nah, I can't. Fuck, I can't. Fuck. fuck. I was gonna watch it and then. Oh, well, talk about it. <laughs> uh, I saw it in theaters on my, yeah. on my birthday. Um, I've been able to see theaters shut down. Yeah, yeah, I know. Now, now, I, I, I got in at the right time. Like, yeah, like you a, got week, a week later, and I would have been yeah. fucked. Yeah, I, like we can't talk about it because, like, all I know is it's the best Spider-Man movie ever. No, 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 no I wouldn't say that. Like, well, you might as well because you know people hold hold Spider-Man movies to like a ridiculous. You, you like, guys don't know anything Spider-Man about movie? it, right? I know enough. I know yeah. everybody's in it. Okay, you do you know that the other Spider Mans are yeah, in there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody no. fucking spoils it's like a multiverse. We were talking about that for the last year. Yeah, it's a multiverse and they all Yeah, yeah well, a well they shot I think about they, it. they spoiled it and then they tried to say no no Andrew Garfield yeah, and Toby Andrew Garfield. Garfield's not gonna be yeah. in it. Yeah. They're, they're in it. Yeah. They're in it. But that's all I'm gonna say. And whatever, it's this whole my multiverse concept. And, and Willem Dafoe's get... really good because everybody kept fucking talking about him. Okay, he's in it too. Yeah. I know about Aunt May be uh twerking. Twerking? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She fucks happy or whatever his name yeah, is. Yeah, to death. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, she's such a baddie. Do you know how old... Do you think she's a baddie? The Aunt May? The, the new one? She's the baddest Aunt May. Bro, she's actually like a baddie for age, bro. You know how old she is? I had to see her one more 60, time. Right? Yeah, yeah, dude. She's almost 60, She's bro. almost 60, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, dude, what? She looks like she's 40. She got... She like... 15. She's almost 60? She, she's like 58. I gotta look her up one more time. See what she's, she's looking. A, she's a, now, now I get it. Like the like the movies make her look better because of makeup and yeah, whatever they sure. do to her face. Like if you look at her photos of her in like real life and shit, like she definitely does look more her age. Mm. But she's fucking in good shape for her age. Like like she's like like fuck Jennifer, Jennifer Aniston, get the Marissa fuck out of here. Tomei. Like she's actually like like 
15 years back, you know? Yeah. Like, I think, personally. Because, like... Yeah, but you know, anyone, so any, weird, yeah. 99% of women her age don't look like that. Yeah. 99%. And you know why? Okay. She, well, I don't want to say you know... I don't want to say this is why, but she's she hasn't been married and she doesn't have kids. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. so she's, she's, still, yeah. she's still kicking it out. Yeah. yeah. She's, she's living a she's good life She's probably still then. running the streets. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cause they do, you know what? Yeah, she does look. She old. had a whole different mindset then. She's spinning the block, yo. She looks old, but she doesn't look old. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, she got a reason to look good. But that's you know, like that's a good. <laughs> it's a good middle. Like you don't want her to. She's sixty and she's looking. You don't want her to be looking twenty, but she's not looking twenty. Well, but she's, she's looking. She looks good. mature. Yeah, but it's like damn, like yeah. You're like a hot 45-year-old, you know what I mean? But like, you're actually 60. But you're actually almost 60. You're like, oh, fuck. But that, I mean, if you think about that in Hollywood years, that's pretty much where, where yeah. some people are yeah. at. They make but it look- is a lot more, uh, a lot, I think she's, like, it's a lot less, she's, it's definitely not like plastic surgery. And no, that's. And for a white woman? That's just natu- yeah. For yeah, a, white, for a person, white woman? It's good. That's good, right? White women age like bread. Yeah. <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> yeah. That's a fact, though. White people. Yeah. yeah, it's true. I'm surprised. I'm wondering what you're going to look 40? like. 40? Yeah. When you're like 45, Ian? <laughs> Shit. Hey, my my age is catching up with me. You know, I'm, I'm a little, you know. That's what, you know. Oh, like, bro. Same, bro. The skincare industry, that's why it exists, bro. Like, yeah. For you can reverse your breaking. age. There's ways. <laughs> yeah. You can reverse your age. It's diet and, and a bunch of other things. Yeah. Like, there's ways to do it. But it's a lot of work. And it's like, dude. You know? I don't know. Marissa told me. Congrats. No, they, they, picked, they picked a good one. Yeah, she was like 30-something in that Seinfeld episode. Crazy. And I've been re-watching Seinfeld. Yeah. Great show. Gilf status. <laughs> <laughs> basically. Yeah, no, At crazy. that age, yeah, you're basically yeah. that one. It's wild. Congrats. What other news came out recently? <laughs> Uh, Tristan Thompson. <laughs> Fuck that. Guy. That shit funny. <laughs> that guy's just a joker. Bro. Did you read? Did you, you saw the tweets? Uh, the the, the Instagram stories and shit. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that shit funny as fuck, man. That shit was just. This wild. guy. This guy literally like hung his hat. He's like, I'm. This guy's child's name is True. <laughs> but True. all he does is lie, bro. True. <laughs> That's funny, dude. His name is his child's name is True. That's is crazy. he named her his name? He, well, I don't know if he did, but like True. Yep. Yo, True. <sighs> Yo, True, True. Yo, True. Yo, True. Was that the name of the show? Your father's a lie. <laughs> I feel like True Jackson. Is that his show? True Some, Jackson. It's a Disney show. That sounds familiar. Yeah. What? It's like the kid lawyer or something like that. <laughs> I swear. Kid Lawyer. Maybe True Jackson. Uh, maybe Jackson. Uh, what was the other... I don't know if you remember this one. There's another show where some... The black dude, his name is Jackson. He was like a actor, but like he was a spy. Uh, Sky, yeah. Sky Jackson. That's all I know. But it was a black dude, but he died. Like the, the, the actor died? Yeah, the actor died at a young age. Jackson, Jackson. I can't remember though. Jackson. It was on Family Channel. I can't remember. Anyways... Yeah, it was just like fucking embarrassing. Like this guy denying the kid, like, denying the the relation to the child, and he's like, "I am, I am the father." Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're Kiki, Kiki. Palmer. True Jackson VP. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Who died? True. Who died? No, no, not not that. That's the no. That's that's the other oh, show. Oh, oh, other okay, show. okay. Yeah, she's a fashion executive. True yeah. Jackson yeah. VP. It's a weird show. Yeah. It's like that one show. What did it have? Like two seasons. Two thousand eight to two thousand eleven. Yeah. Three seasons. Those kids shows only run for a few seasons. Yeah, they're just like they just repeat the fuck. Because they of grow them. up, right? They can't they can't maintain yeah. that cast for for too long. Yeah, it's like two, three years, four yeah. years, maybe. Like, I feel like Wizards of Waverly Place had a good run. Maybe I'm maybe not, but I feel like they were fucking adults in the last season. <laughs> they're old, bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't know when that show started or like she was like clapping the weekend in the last season, bro. <laughs> <laughs> clapping the weekend. <laughs> I don't know. It's I'm disgusting. kidding. I'm kidding. Selena's had a life, bro. <laughs> Selena, Selena. Yeah. The Wizards is on 20, for... 2007 to 2012. That's a long time for a kid's show, right? Yeah. 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 Six years, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Because I remember the fucking... Like... What's anyone else saying? All the characters' show, balls dropped by the last season. They're all like... 
<laughs> they're all older. <laughs> no one else is saying anything on that sh- on that show, bro. Like, are they all still like about? the Mitchell Musso? No, who the fuck is the the brother? I forgot all these kids. I can't remember the, the, the brother and then the 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 the, the little little brother. Right? I can't. Yeah. And then the the little brother got famous. The dad the dad's on a lot of shit. I've seen him on shows. Who's the who's the dad? I forgot his name, but he's oh. The dad, he's like... Bald. Fuck all of that. Bob like, Saget died. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. Thing died. True Full House. Um, the woman. Oh, Betty White died. Betty yeah, White yeah, finally yeah, yeah. died. Congrats. Finally. Let's I just mean, say congrats. She lived a long-ass fucking life. Nah, She's almost but, 100. But she should have made it to 100, bro. Shut the fuck up. But that would have been legendary. She was <laughs> a couple days away it's from fine. 100. It's fine. You guys and you guys have to have way too much for a few years back. I bro. would want to say... I would, 10 years ago. I would rather be 100. Just to say I made it to 100. I feel like that's a goal for people for some you'd reason. Be able, you'd barely be able to say you made Everyone's it. Everyone's like, I'm going to live to 100. No one lives to 100. Very few people live to 100, to be honest. I feel like I will. I mean, maybe with like technology getting better and shit, we might. But any, anyone, anyone over the age of like 50 right now is probably not going to live to 100. Yeah, I yeah. mean, it, uh, yeah, yeah, except the, like, yeah. whatever, because it happens, you yeah. know. But, yeah, yeah, the one, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course, like, yeah. the, but, like, most people. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Most people die in, like, their 80s, yeah. mid-80s. Yeah. Most people. <laughs> what do you think, the kids born right now, how long do you think they're, what, what oh, they Like, but that's the be? thing, like, they like could, 90? it that's could be late, eight, late 80s, early 90s, yeah. yeah. I'm going to say, like, I don't know, this is just estimate, but I, I could definitely, in 50 years from now, like, I can see 91 being the average. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Right now, isn't it like 82 or something? Yeah. Like technically. Yeah, something like somewhere that. in your 80s, yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? And, um, I know yeah. even when we were kids, I think the average was like, or here used to be like 70 and like Japan was like the highest and they were like 80 or something. Yeah. Yeah, Japanese people live a long time. Yeah. But that, the thing is... That fish like, that they're not going to have. That's the thing is like, you're going to be living 100 years in, in, a, in a fiery hell inferno or mm-hmm. like a fucking flood. Like you got to wake up and... Build the dam every day to prevent your house from, you know, getting caught up by the water or some shit. Literally. Or, or like, that's where, like, I don't, like, obviously, yeah, human life is going to go up, but the world, the world's lifespan is going to keep going down. Exactly. So I don't know how that's going to balance itself out. The lifespan is going to keep going up or down? Down. Like, we're, we're going to keep, like, humans are going to be able to live longer, but the but world the planet is not, is not, yeah, the planet is not going to be more, planet. A bit of, there's going to be more like natural disasters, there's going right. to be more like, fucking whatever, like just shit that's going to be fucking pandemics. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, yeah. The world's just going to be getting more Which connected. Which can kill a lot more people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm. The, the show I was thinking about was the famous Jet Jackson. Mm. You remember that yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's another name. Yeah, that dude's dead. Portland's getting slapped. He killed himself. Shit. R.I.P. 20. 20. No, I'm reading the score. 29. 29. Yeah, 29. 29, he killed himself. Um, yeah, anything else you want to wrap it up today? Yeah, let's wrap this up. Good, good little pod first back. First pod of 2022. Next week, we're getting lit, so... Episode 100 next week, sure which is fucking crazy. Listening to the, the pod, make sure you have a bottle out next week. Yeah. You're going to have to take a shot. Uh, every time we say pause. Um, every time Ian says throat. Yeah, yeah every time Ian says <laughs> throat, throat, take a bro. shot. Yeah. Um, but yeah, should be good. Episode 100. And that's when the pod starts, bro. Yeah, that's when that's, the pod starts, eh? That's when the production value goes up, bro. So you might you, you might see some laziness on 100 just because we're going to be lit. Yeah, yeah. But on 101, you're going to see the, the, the board's going to be back. The multicam. Yeah. We're going to have effects going on in here. We're going to have donations, <laughs> a chat, all of that. All that's going to be going Don't off. So me, uh, Produce segments, bro. Yeah, yeah bro. So we're going to have our own, you know. It's different person. spot. Yeah, it's going to be guy. crazy. So, yeah, man. Cheers to episode 100 coming up soon. I, will, I was going to, um, I, I, I saw like a, um, what did I have? Somewhere I wrote down just like things that might happen in 2020, like at the beginning of the year. And it was like a, yeah, like it was like a sponsored podcast. Oh, was sick. It was like yeah. I was I was dying when I'm like, holy fuck, yeah, we had so much different plans. Yeah, and then yeah, I went the to shit. Hit, like, oh man, that's jokes. Yeah, wow. Yeah, I know. 
And it's been almost two years, bro. Like things that yeah. I for, I'm only just I recovering. Completely forgot about those things, you know. Like yeah. we were weird. Pandemic, now that we were anywhere near that, but like we were kind we of. We were talking like, about it. Like this pandemic's been a blur. Yeah. Literally. Like we were like fuck. Like 2020. That's supposed to be the year. Yeah. We were. I'm go- still affected like, by that we now. Were going in, you know, Voldemort was gonna be our guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah. the shit was gonna happen, bro. Yeah, man. I remember <laughs> saying, I was like, "Yo, shit's gonna change up this year." I'm yeah. Like, Finally, shit. And it did. <laughs> <laughs> For the worst. <laughs> we're, as long as we're all healthy, we're all happy. We're nah, all yo, fuck that. I need my beds, yo. Get my bags, bro. We're all moving up in life, you know. Don't kill it's me. Just, it's just a little hurt. No, I will say, I will say, that's that's the one thing. When it came down to New Year's, I was like, shit, yo, life really changed. Cause yeah. I, that's when I moved into a new spot. Yeah. A year ago, I was down bad. I was down horrible, bro. I was just overworked. And I just took on too much work at a time when I shouldn't have taken on work. But I just felt like 2020 was a waste. So I needed to, you know, go hard 2021. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just went too hard. And it fucked me up. But, you know, I'm good now. I'm happy where I'm at now, you know? Yeah. Because last year, I was down horrible, horrendous. Dealing with... Ugh. That's yeah. the thing I will say about the pandemic. The though, worst It's allowed you to kind of, like, deal with mistakes. Yeah. Even though it like now now every time when I wake up now I'm like there's a balance between me like being like fuck I just wasted two years of my life and then also like I'm glad that I had that time to like just fuck around a little bit yeah yeah so that I can know not to do certain things ever again or that I don't need to do certain things ever again, yeah you know? exactly like, I don't need to waste my time with certain things yeah I'm but uh, I'm gonna be approaching things a lot different but yeah man I'm just gonna take my time now I don't care yeah. We're stuck in this forever. So. We're stuck in this, so yeah, I'm just gonna <laughs> chill. I'm not in no rush. Yeah, we're I'm all just, in it together. I'm just doing it, taking it a day at a time, a step at a time, man. And that's what it's gonna be for the rest of my life. And I'm gonna do shrooms, I think, on Saturday. Nice. Just by myself in the new spot. That's sick. While my Christian, girl's... you know, like Christian, the place kind of yeah. Get yeah, while my girl's gone. See what spirits are. We're gonna do a housewarming, yeah. maybe, yeah. but maybe when like COVID's not as crazy. Once I get a couch. Okay, true. Yeah, I, true, true, true. I can't have people just standing. <laughs> yeah. So once I get yeah. a couch, I need at least a couple seats. You know, I have two seats right now, but that's just for eating dinner. A little housewarming and shit. So we'll see. I that. haven't even really done one. I just feel like I'm really far, and I feel weird asking people, like, like where I live versus you. Where tell you the man live them to is, pull up for crazy. some drinks feel, or something. I feel bad asking you to just come over to I mean, all over to like, my place. I mean, if it's like you know, yeah, we'll yeah. Do, we do a little pre-drink at your place, and then we'll go out. Near, go somewhere, yeah. Then yeah. it then it makes it you know. It's like two hours to from here to there. What it is. Yeah. You do you do whatever you gotta I, do for the that, mandem, you know. Actually, yeah. the reason, main reason why I haven't like asked everyone to come over, yeah, because I feel like everyone's in Scarborough, and I'm like, dude, like I'm just like, this is really. Well, far. I feel like everyone's kind of doing their thing now, you know. So yeah. like, Sampreet's fucking downtown. I'm where I'm at. You're where you're at, you know. So yeah. it's fine. Kevin's here, so we're all we already know out. where Kevin's at. Yeah. We're all spread out now. Yep. Actually, yeah. It's weird. You're middle. I, he's east. I'm west. And uh, that's how you take over. San Priest downtown, yeah. Yeah. Zach Saga downtown. Zach's in know. the middle. Or actually, no, San Priest <laughs> not Saga anymore. Yeah, Zach. Yeah. But yeah, man. So yeah, good pod today. Good to be back. We said that last time, but good to be back again. <laughs> uh, we will catch you guys in the next pod again. Make sure you got the bottles out and ready to go. Hundred. Yo, you guys too. Make sure you guys pick up a bottle. Honestly, didn't think we'd get here. Or or we'll do the we'll do, might do the last. Well, craft. I did, but you know. Okay, we could either do the last craft or we buy a, a Casamigos. <sighs> or Ciroc. I'll no, do no, no, like Casamigos, maybe. Yeah. We could do like we could buy like one Casamigos and then like one. Well, what is that? Something. Is that tequila? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah get Patron, your girl. Yo, tell your girl from now she needs to pick you up. Like <laughs> or a Patron, you know. Nah. Casamigos. Yeah, it has to be the Casamigos. Yeah. It has to be. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? Because that's like the ra- it's the it's the rapper one. George Clooney owns it. George Clooney is the rapper shit. It's the hot shit right yeah. now. We haven't had it yet. We, we air out all our shit, bro. We do a like we a, could cry together like on the hundred pod review, bro. Yeah. Each episode, the last, and what? Like, tell them what was it going on, like yeah. the in last, the background. We started this shit in twenty nineteen, bro. Oh, I will say also, we technically are at a pod one hundred, right? If we count one, that's. Technic- yeah, Technic- technically, yeah, technically, yeah. Yeah. technically <laughs> this is 100. <laughs> oh, you're right, you're right, yeah, you're right. Yes. But we did release that episode, kind of, but just not yeah, really, yeah, right? Yeah, like oh, a, yeah, facts, never a mind. A piece of it. It has a number, yeah, never mind. It, It's like a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nine and three quarters. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, uh, next week's going to be good, so 
uh, make sure you guys pull back up. Um, or whenever we record again. Yeah, it might not be. I was going to say, wait, I mean, next week. I, whenever I we record anything, again. I don't think, I don't, unless shit comes up randomly. Yeah, know. that's been the schedule now. We just record as long as Ian is free or as long as we're all kind of free. Yeah. Then we record. But if we're not, then we just skip it for this time. But whatever. Yeah. yeah. Whenever we're back, we're back. And it'll be ex- episode 100. So we'll catch you guys then. Lost and Lost Podcast. Thanks yeah. once again. 2022. Let's go. Gee, keep slapping your thigh. <laughs> <laughs> keep slapping. Thank you.